really give a very special, very special welcome to the true legend of internet marketing, Mr. Terry Dane. At that point in time, before I started my business, I had more than $50,000 in debts, mostly on credit cards. I had 13 different credit cards. And some of those debts were created by me trying different business opportunities. I, I said that really kindly. Okay, many of those debts <laughs> were by me trying different business opportunities. I've never held any of my jobs for more than 30 days. So you know what that means? I'm an entrepreneur. <laughs> I've also sold satellite dishes door to door in direct sales for a company. I worked for them for two weeks, for example. And you know where they put me? They put me in an area where half the houses were Amish houses. <laughs> And then the one that I talk about all the time is the pizza delivery driver, where I made $8 an hour, because that's the last job I've had. That's the last job I'll ever have. I was making $8 an hour minimum. It was really minimum wage plus tips, and I always got paid $8 an hour. <laughs> and even with all the failures before, I still have to be thankful to my wife. She told me that I could do it. I could do it. And when I came online, I was able to do it online. I started succeeding online. I'm going to show you throughout today the system that I used to succeed online. I have a few gifts I want to give everyone. I have two books and just as gifts. The first book is Financial Freedom, a step-by-step -step practical guide to walking in God's blessings, which business people who would like to have this book. Yes, yes. Okay, <laughs> second book is Internet Integrity, the truth about how any business can profit online. I've taught thousands of people. One of my favorite testimonials that I had from one of my clients was when Jimmy Brown sent me a testimonial. And he's someone that people consider a guru now also in marketing, with many others that I've taught as well, are in the same place. But he sent me a testimonial when he first succeeded online. He said that he didn't make 10000 his first week, he didn't buy a yacht, but he was able to quit his job. In just a few weeks after getting my course, he was able to quit his job. And he's been succeeding online since then. I know that this writing's a little small for the people in the back. Bill Harrison said that one strategy alone made him $10,000 in three months. Three-step foolproof system for becoming a guru. This is what I did, and most of the people I know did to become a guru. We, number one, failed a bunch of times. We failed a bunch of times. That was the first step. And I suggest you do that as quickly as possible. <laughs> Fail a bunch of times first. Oh, Number two, you accidentally discover something that works. What, how do you accidentally discover something that works? By testing. I call it accidentally because that's what it looks like. But it's just part of the system. But if you keep trying, if you try different things and you don't give up, you'll find what works for you. And then you, number three, you tell everyone about your genius. And you know what you forget at that point? You forget step one. <laughs> and you don't tell anybody about step one. Do you want to know how you become an expert in America? You write a book. That's how you become an expert. It doesn't even have to be a good book. <laughs> the basic principle of that training is that you have to write, then edit later. Because we're still on the perfectionist complex. Create a basic outline of what you want to write. A working title, which will change later most likely. Some basic points that you want to talk about. and then start writing. And don't quit writing until you're done. Lock yourself away to do it if necessary. If you have a week's vacation from work coming up, that's when you do it. And you do it all until you don't want to write anymore. And here's what your mind will constantly say. That's not perfect. Delete, 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 delete. Type, type, type. I don't like that either. Delete, 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 delete. And if you do that for two hours, what do you have done after two hours? Delete, delete, 
nothing. You have nothing. You still have a blank page. A principle in copywriting that applies to all types of writing is that new writers, new copywriters, the first few things they write, you end up deleting all of them anyway. They're just getting warmed up. They're just getting into the groove. But that takes place during the editing process. And if you write and delete it back over, you never get to the good stuff. So you want to sit down, write quickly. Write it all out. No matter how bad it looks right now. No matter how I'm going to tell you something else about my wife. When I first met her, she was not what you would consider a hot prospect. She, when I first asked her out, I went up to her and I asked her, Julie, would, would you like to go out with me Friday night? Her aunt, she ignored the question and talked about something else. Okay. But I tried again. Same time, she talked about something else. And I said to her, well, you didn't answer the question. Would you like to go out with me? And she said, oh, sure. I'm not afraid to go out with you. <laughs> that is later on. After going out for a while, I told her really emotionally, Julie, I love you. And she said, your mother wears combat boots. <laughs> if you write an email, customer, list, free list, it doesn't matter. I want you to pick out one person in the list that you know well. And I want you to write your email as if you were sending just an email just to them. No matter what you're doing, if, you're, if you were giving them some free information, same rule. If you're writing ad copy for something, same rule. You write it like you're writing to someone who's your friend. And you, do you know what will happen? Over time, after getting the communications, if you've done a good job of it, they're going to begin to feel like your friends. You might not have 100,000 subscribers, but can you find someone who does in your niche? And you don't need that many. That's the reason I mentioned next. You might not have 5,000 buyers, but can you find someone in the niche who does? And if you can, we now have the potential to reach the niche because we're selling something that this market wants because they already told us. If you want to see an example of a squeeze page, you can go to theterrydean.com. Someone who had a dance studio bought Terry Dean before I did, .com, so I'm the Terry Dean. Your direct response website, it's simply a sales letter. Pretty websites win awards. Plain websites with good copy make money. A website that makes money is never going to be the same one that wins awards.